Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Immortals Phoenix Rising on K-Wings Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Immortals arrives. And special shout-outs to all our members, including our Ultimates. If you guys want to hop aboard the membership train, all you got to do is click right here, select the tier. Works best for you. Also, uh, yeah. thanks again to our friends Ubisoft for providing a copy of this game and socks for Christmas. So, it's very <laughs> Thank nice you for you. the socks, Ubisoft! All right, so... Uh, we went back to the Hall of the Gods because it's time to update our character. Actually, it's something pretty important we need to do, so... Uh, I also noticed that it looks like we should get a potion while we're here, because those attack potions help a lot. Okay, so we can go 106 damage for the axe. Uh, oh, wow. Ooh. Everything is glowing. Yeah. Let's do this one. So that means you have a lot of points. Because, I mean, we're already pretty decent with our axe attack, so I want to go with the sword. So we're going to upgrade our swords to 84. That should be a nice little boost. There we go. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do the axe again because we just don't have enough. But that's okay. <clears throat> now our base attacks are much stronger. And that's going to make all the difference. Sword upgraded. Yeah! Good times. Good times! Oh, what up, Aphrodite? You have anything important to tell us today? Must be nice being free from that tree form. Oh, yes, what a relief! I still have some fruit left over. Anyone want an apple? <laughs> I'm good. I don't even know if I have a stomach. Maybe no stomach, but honey, those abs! Oh, I feel like I can see them through your toga. Mediterranean diet? Is it too much? I want it to look like I care, but not like I'm trying, you know? No, you're good. Real good. Real, real good. Um, <laughs> anybody need a quest completed? What's this game rated again? <laughs> oh <No>? my gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, that was both awkward and weird. Thanks for that. Do we have any Zeus stuff? I could say something that would really trigger Luke right now. <laughs> Let's not say... It's like when I'm playing Krom in... in... No, 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 I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> no. I think you're more of a Sephiroth player at this point now. <laughs> you, you don't even have to imagine. You just take off his shirt. <sighs> Curse you, Square. All right, so... All the other characters in, in that game, you just have to imagine what was Sephiroth is like... Yep. I'll make it easy for you, okay, ladies. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to acquire Ares Wrath, oh which gosh. is his ability. And uh, we have some points left over. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's right after Christmas. Aphrodite. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for a certain <gasps> upgrade that I need. We have how many points left? Two? Hmm... That axe combo looks pretty sweet. What do we got here? A air combo. I don't really do much with the bow, so that doesn't really... You know what? We're going to save our points. And then we'll come back uh, next time. We're going to have to find more areas so we can pick up some gold coins. Ah, ah. I feel powerful! Okay, you know if my eyes glowed like Cyclops, I'd be pretty terrified. I think I'd have optic blasts come out of my eyes. There we go! That's sweet! That's going to help a ton. So that is just holding in, uh, it looked like L1 and X. And we have like an awesome attack. That's going to help stun enemies. And, you know, we've been suffering quite a bit uh, fighting people. So, And before I go, I want to get as many of these attack potions as possible. And thank you for collecting uh, materials when you did that um, grind yeah, stream. Yeah, I want to do more grind streams of this, but... No. <coughs> oh. Ta-da! I wish it would just get more views if I grind streamed it more. Mm. Maybe I should be more entertaining to watch. Maybe I'll do face cam grind streams. <laughs> I know wear like a pineapple on my head. Or no, no. Have the cat crawl all over me while I'm grind streaming. No. I'll do a grind stream where what K Bro did, where every time I like to say the secret word, then I get zapped on like. <laughs> Oh I still gosh. can't believe he did that. that oh my gosh, crazy. that I mean, the guy knows how to make entertainment out of anything. But honestly, you know, he does what every YouTuber does. He knows that with every view comes pain. Zelda, don't eat that. 
My gosh, it's like having a three-year-old. All right, so Amber's not missing much. Basically, we have to go back to the den here and fight all these enemies. Ow. Bring it! Okay, maybe don't bring it so hard. There we go, using the new ability there. The L1 ability. What did I miss? Sorry. I'm in the middle of a fight. Oh. You said Amber's not missing much when I was helping the cat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're toast. Bye bye. Toast time. Oop. There we go. Satisfying. Okay, big fella. I'm just gonna poke fun at you with my. Oop. Okay, maybe not. Time to die. There we go. So you do actually pick up some type of crystals uh, fighting bad guys, but. Um, I think purple stuff is from chests. Blue and red crystals tend to be from defeating enemies. Like, I'm trying to, uh, come up with a list of how it's, you know, to, to pick up certain materials that you need to upgrade your swords and axes and stuff like that, but so far, I don't really know. Um, in order to upgrade your skills, you need those coins. Hey, what's up, guy? Yeah. Mama Luke. You're getting all, like, knowledgeable about this game and stuff. Well, since we decided that Rice and Ruin is going to be a live stream series, like, in the new year, um, I've been focusing on uh, learning the mechanics of this game better so that we can oh. get through it much quicker. Because I can only focus on, like, one or two things at a time, and Smash Brothers Versus and Power Rangers are a lot easier for me to well, record. Focus but. on more things or, or things at a time. That's what I always say to you, but you're always like, I can multitask, I have ADD. It depends on the game. If if this was like um, Streets of Rage 4 or, you know, like a Batman game or something where I'm very familiar with the mechanics, but this game, very, very different than uh, a lot of the other ones we covered this year. So basically having ADD really means you're so smart that you pick up everything really quick and you can do everything at once. But you can see, now that I'm focusing on just this game, I am playing it a lot better. I wasn't going to say anything, but... <laughs> All right, you big bozos. You see that ability? Ares Wrath comes in handy. I wish yeah. we would have upgraded that, like, earlier on. Like, because we're probably near the end of Ares stuff, but... Oh, well. Better late yeah. than never. So what that ability does is it actually stuns the enemy, uh, which gives you more hit points, and the ability to stagger them. Um, which makes life so much easier. Also, we are uh, dealing a lot more punishment now with our sword. We're doing about 84 damage a hit, whereas before we were doing about 54. And then we would rely on the uh, 66 to 87 for the axe, like with an axe combo. Uh, also, if you successfully complete a combo, you can cause a stagger ability and an additional, like, probably 20 or 30 uh, damage points. Like, on top of whatever your normal is, so... Um, technically, hitting the enemy, like, four times or whatever... Uh, four times 84 is what damage you're doing to an enemy. And if you're able to pull off, like, one of those cool little combo things... We're, uh, draining even blue enemies' health bars a lot more you're, than we did before. So you're doing a lot of combos on him right now, then? Oh, we've always done combos. It was just kind of like hitting him with sticks before. Oh. Oh, so That's the amount of damage we were doing. So because of... How are you getting more points for the combos now? Because your upgraded weapon? The sword is better. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I understand. Yep. The sword is something I probably should have upgraded first, but I went... I wanted... The axe is actually pretty strong. <clears throat> Except for when enemies are using a shield. So... It, it was smart of us to upgrade the axe, like, early on. But the sword probably would have made our life a little bit easier. But, eh, it is what it is. Everybody's yeah. gonna play this game different. Some people prefer, like, long-range attacks and magic abilities. Uh-oh. Ow. Okay, note to self, run away when he does that. Uh, whereas I... I don't know my method for what I like to do just yet. I like to hit people with the axes and the sword. And kind of, like, change it up a little bit. Also, I do a lot more aerial stuff than most people do, because the wings... Mm. You just need to remind me that I need to pick up that um, air dodge. You need to pick up the air dodge. Yeah. <laughs> next upgrade. Okay, I'll remind you next upgrade. Okay. 
I always like trolling people when they're like, remind me to do this. See nice. the stagger? Oh, like, yeah. we were able to stun him much quicker with the Ares Wrath now. The Ares Wrath does about, like, 300% damage. And uh, fall damage also will kill the enemies. Like, because they are kind of human. Even though they're undead. So no, I understand. You, if you can manage to knock an enemy off a high place, then they'll add additional damage to them. It's pretty cool. All right. Whoop. There we go. Nice little stagger, and you're done. Whoop, boys. Oh, good times. Okay, so this doesn't look like where we were last time. But I don't think I've been here. Hmm, okay, no worries. Uh, what is this used for? Hmm. Red door here. There looks like some type of treasure chest in there. Ah! I see now. There's a ledge up there. So we're gonna yeet this box up there. And then try to find a mechanism or something to open the door. And get this in there. That'd be my guess. But before we do that... Just want to see what we're working with here. It looks like we've got a feather platform and another feather platform on the other side, right between the treasure chest. What? And... Maybe there's a box back here. No. Do you see any box on the ground down there? Oh, no, I'm not no. seeing anything shiny. I feel like, uh... Look, you are like... You have renewed, like, strength to play this game, Luke. Hmm. It's like I'm hanging out with a, a completely new phoenix. Haha. <laughs> mm. I like it. It's nice. Oh, I'm tan and rested. You, I know what I'm doing. I read I up. I actually read up on that, um... You know that thing Ubisoft sent us? Yeah. For prior to the game release? Because this was a, a pre-release, uh, unreleased game at one point for us. I know. I went through and I read the entire, um... Oh my 60 gosh. page <laughs> like thing they I should been. have done that. We were just, we were working on so much stuff and leading up to Christmas and stuff. Yep, we were busy with Christmas stuff and also uh, we were doing um, rice and ruin. I was, I was super and, stressed about Christmas. I'm glad. I usually am just like, no, it's going to be stressful, but it was really nice. We had a really nice You guys should watch our Christmas with the K-Wings video. We had a nice time. Yep. Those um, stealth strikes give you more I, uh, gems. I didn't get Luke very much, but at oh, least we had a nice Christmas. You're fine. Okay, Mr. Shield guy. Ooh. Um, also, I know why enemies have been damaging us, like, sometimes. Uh, when you get hit by a lone projectile, they're either throwing a spear at you or they have a bow and arrow. So you just have to try to... Um, not get yourself surrounded, because even a, a group of little blue enemies like this can kill you. So, I was actually getting killed from far away, too. So, and he'll die from fall damage. There we go. Alright. 24 crystals. So, uh, this is where actually we ended last time. This is where there was a treasure chest, and I remember there was a box in here, so... I don't necessarily know where that other browns box is, but I think the game will allow me to steal other crates and use them for other puzzles. So that's what we're going to experiment right now and see if this ends up working out or not. That's my plan anyway. And, and you know, uh, sometimes games don't let you cheese it like this. They'll be like, when you leave a certain area, the mm, thing that you're using it. to solve a puzzle, they'll vanish. Um, Zelda is really well known for doing that. Like, Zelda games do that. I don't know if Phoenix is going to do that or not. But we found this uh, box that was used in the last puzzle to get that cool wolf helmet, I think? Yeah. And uh, now we're going to throw this up here and go inside. Uh, one sec. Uh, we'll get it up there. Okay, here we go. And whoop! Okay, now we've got two boxes up there. There's a red door there. So where's the switch that opens the door? Is it this thing? Ooh, pomegranate. I definitely need that. Oh, give. Yeah, there we go. All right. Good times. Never have enough pomegranate. Now, what does this do? Ooh. Uh. Wait. Oh, I see. So it's timed with the door. Okay. All right, we can do this. 
All right. Nuts. <sighs> Gonna have to be faster. Uh. Hmm, I got a bad feeling about this. All right. All right. Let's do this. Oh, oh. Run, 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 run. Oh, come on. Let's. Mmm. Not cool. Oh my gosh, like, what do you have to do? I don't understand. Throw the switch, run up here real fast, and try to get through the door. Run, 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 run. Yeah, baby. That was impossible. Okay. How did you do that? I ran really, really fast. But when you jump over that stuff, it slows you down, though. Yeah, I did get hit quite a bit, but that's okay. All right, so I'm guessing we're going to need to hit the red switch, open the door, and get the boxes. Sorry, I was... I, I, my mind was thinking of a Christmas card I didn't send. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, for crying out loud. It's hard for my mind not to wander sometimes. That's fine. All right, so we're going to get this box now. There we go. And put this on this thingy here. There we go. Take you. Bring you over here. Boom. And now, let's see what was uh, all the fuss about. Drum roll, please. New armor. Grizzled hide of war. All right, I think a change of attire is in order. Let's uh, put on the new armor. Ooh, stamina. 11. Extra for a combo meter hit. Cool. And we have the helmet, don't we? Yes, we have the helmet for this set. Grizzled Jaws of War. There you guys go. New costume to wear today. Nice. Awesome. We got a bear head. Oh, we have to open the door again. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, you wanted to change costumes. There you go. We, we have, have a different a bear look. Head. That's right. Oh, I think that was a tale of Hercules where he made one of the animals that he destroyed into like a, uh, I don't know if it was a lion or a bear, but he it made a it into a hood. Yeah, it was a yeah. lion. Yep, yep, yep. Whoops. All right, now let's... I want to watch the old Hercules show. The Kevin Sorbo one? It sounds like, because every time I type in a tale of Hercules, his the show comes up and they're like, well, this was actually in the show. And I'm just like... Whoa, they actually had the actual stories of Hercules in the show? Mm-hmm. That's really interesting. They did. Um, I don't know where you'd watch that show, though. Maybe on Amazon? I thought they were just making up Hercules stories to put in a show and call it Hercules, but they actually used the actual stories of Hercules. And, like, well, I don't know if it's historical counts, but, like, the, the tales of Hercules. I'm pretty sure that Kevin Sorbo actually married uh, one of his guest stars in uh, an episode, like in real life. Oh, wow. I believe she played his wife that was a former, like, Minotaur woman. <laughs> um, that would be a cool place to meet the person you're going to marry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where he met her. He also had another show back then, but I don't remember the name of it. Okay, now, since we know that boxes can go wherever we want, um, let's use that to our advantage. Come on, let me do this game. Yes! There we go. All right, so we just yeeted that box over there. Hello, Zelda. A little cat on me. Um, so we're going to do this puzzle differently than uh, the failed attempt yesterday. Now that I know I can actually grab boxes from other places. Didn't Kevin Sorbo also voice that one thing in um, that one sci-fi game that we played? Oh, that was a very cool Wii game. Um, no, not the Wii game. The other game. The, de the Not Destiny, but the other one that was like it. No, Destiny. You think he, he was in Destiny? I thought he played the robot. Hmm. Or it sounded like him. Um, it sounded like him. He was voice. he was definitely in a Wii sci-fi game, though. He, oh, what he, was the Wii sci-fi game? Uh, it's so long ago, I'm trying to remember. I have it. He used to be a really big actor in the 90s, right? Or something. Yeah, he's a Hallmark actor now. Oh. He does Hallmark movies. He does a lot of family movies. Just I like Dean Cain does. I haven't seen his Hallmark movie. Well, maybe I saw one of them. He also does a lot of faith-based films, like Kevin oh, Sorbo did, because okay. he, he converted um, a long oh, time ago. Oh, okay. Yep. So, all right, we'll have to see him in a Hallmark movie. That would be cool. Yeah, I mean, they... Oh, I thought I saw a commercial for him in a movie where, that was in theaters or something. Like yeah, that. he did. But okay. he does a lot of um, Christmas movies these days. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Cool. Those, those, and I quote by Amber, those um, really lame Hallmark Christmas movies that are just like there to watch. Hey, you weren't <laughs> supposed to say any when I said that. Too. <laughs> I was just saying that about like what people watch on Christmas. Most people just marathon those movies because I don't know. I mean, sometimes they're kind of fun. Why though? It's just something to watch. <sighs> Just something under- to watch. I can understand marathoning them on the background while you're making Christmas cookies. Mm-hmm. What I wish for, what I hope for, is a TV that's like my aunt's TV in her house. She is able... Her TV, she has a hole in her kitchen. Not an actual hole, but it's like her kitchen isn't completely cut off like a room. And basically, she can watch mm-hmm. the TV in her living room from her kitchen. Okay. So while she's making, and she has a little place, like a, st- a bar stool. That's thing. what we forgot to do. You know, like one of those high tables where mm-hmm. you have the benches. Yep. She's able to sit there, make a salad while she's sitting down, and actually watch TV in the next room. All right. So that's what I want. Okay. What we're gonna do? Our next kitchen, honey. I'm, I'm gonna get you a better kitchen, like the our next well, place we live. That's what I'm saying. Like I would marathon those movies if I was doing something else at the no, time. No, that's fine. Okay. All right, so uh, last time Amber and I didn't throw the switch, so that's why the little crystal is glowing this time. And it looks like um, there's a feather platform, there's a hole over there, two guards over here. So what we're going to do is, since the game already allows us to do this, and they haven't patched this yet, which is great, we're going to steal these boxes, and we're going to use them for the other door. That's that's my plan. You think they're gonna patch this? Oh, eventually, yeah, because I'm sure there's boxes hidden around in this dungeon you're supposed to use. But Maybe I'm we're I'm doing not. It right. No, I'm doing it how I want to do it because that way I think part of my problem is I was overthinking these puzzles. So let's. I feel uh, like these puzzles are a little bit complex, honestly. Like since I saw you play this game, I was like, wow. Whoops. Playing this game, like when these puzzles, it reminds me of how I used to feel in school. Because mm. it's like I had to think of basically like there was a complicated way to solve the problem, but I was always think of an out of the box way to solve it. It's how I always handled every school problem. And then people were like, "How did you get your homework done so fast?" It's like, well, I don't do I don't do the new math. Mm-hmm. I do my old version of math, like old I, version of math. Okay. Yeah, there's like something they call new math now. It's like a new version of math. Okay. I would do my old version of math. Every... Okay, I'll explain. Okay, I will explain. So, like... Okay, I'll explain. Alright, so, you know, like, three? The number three? How many points does it have on it? Like, if you're counting. There we go. You go loop, loop. Between the loops, there's three lines. So that's how I count. One, two, three. Okay. And then two has two things... The beginning and the end is two. I would I would memorize. Basically, I would think of every number as a shape, and each shape was kind of like a constellation, and it had several different dots on it. So it would make it easy for me to count it. Mm. That's how I did math. Okay. So my math was like every 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 number to me was a picture. Yep. So um, what we did is we took the box from the other puzzle room, we threw it up here, and what we're gonna do after cleaning out these guards. See that hole right there? We're going to throw the box uh, through this hole. And there should be... Yeah, there's another feather platform right there. Notice how there's no box in there. So we're going to take this bronze box right here. And we're going to yeet it through this open wall. And we're going to go inside here and take that heavy block. Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on. First, let's put this here. There we go. Piece of cake. Now, we're going to move this lion block... All the way over to that anvil platform, which is for heavy objects, obviously. And then we need to look for another place for uh, the feathered block to finish this puzzle. So put bear here. Bingo. Bear. Bear's happy. And whoops. Now, thank you, open hole. I'm going to toss you through there. And it looks like that's where the other feather is. So now, after what seemed like two episodes... This is how you're supposed to do the puzzle. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. Now we can leave. Forget about it. Forget about it, yeah. Uh, And this is why it's always important to read uh, all the materials that you get from uh, said developer. If they actually take the time to write you a very... Well, not just us. I mean, they wrote all the journalists a, a big, extensive guide. 
uh, because apparently they knew that um, journalists get stuck in games, so rather than people complain about certain aspects of the game, here's a little cheat sheet about, uh, you know, how to make things a little bit easier for you. So, that way you can judge the game based on its merit and not so much your terrible gameplay. Not you, I'm just... Are still talking about ourselves? Haha. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> this is what happens when I... This is much better gameplay, you have to admit. This is a lot better than it was. How do we re-record everything else from the past, though? Yeah, we can't. But maybe maybe we can attract some people from the future and be like, Hey, this is what the game's supposed to look... The horses have steam coming out of their nose, it's freaky. How are they doing that? Alright. I could tell you some things. No, I don't want to know. Well, some people believe, like, there's some kind of, like... I don't know, there's some tales that... Oh, okay, so there's some stories of ancient times, like, when people had, like, those animatronic, uh, what do you call them? Mechanized, uh, things? Basically mechanized puppets that they had back in ancient times. Whoa. Uh, um, basically... Not familiar with that, but okay. The, oh, um... That thing that I was telling you, uh, oh, I'll, 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 I'm gonna look it up real quick, the you, word for it. You tell me a lot of stuff, honey, that um, I don't really know. But anyway, remember. like, there were some... Whoops. There were some ancient stories that some of them were magically, uh, basically possessed and could move on, talk on their own. Creepy. I don't think I would really like that too much. Alright, so where to now? Oh! I see. Uh, well, not all of them, though. Some of them were just regular, like, me mechanical things, but some... There were some weird stories that some yeah. of them actually did. So, all right. more or less, uh, one way that can help you guys a little bit is... Uh, oh, hang on. My... Uh, sometimes the map doesn't work properly, but the arrow, when it points down, it wants you to go down um, toward your goal. Oh! I know what they're called. Automatons. Automatons? Yeah. Okay. Mm, yep. Early robots. Mm. They're called automatons. Remember that? Remember you guys? Anyone watching or Luke mm. or anyone not watching? Um, remember the movie Hugo? Where his dad mm. made the mechanized p human? And it moved on its own if he turned the crank? Think of that. If you guys, if you guys have a music box... You wind it up and it moves? That's an automaton. That's oh. what they had back in the day. There's all kinds of stories Ooh. about things they wound up like like kings would actually make automaton um swans. That would actually like like I don't know if some of them could float, but they would like do different things and they would have them at like royal parties and stuff moving around. Interesting. I know. So you guys, back in ancient times, they had technology of things that could move and stuff. It's really cool. I think it is. Yeah, it's pretty You neat. guys know what? They had so much more back in the day than we know about. Like, if we went back in time, you and I, you guys listening, and me, and Luke, if we went in a time machine, like, and went back in the day, like, we, like, you guys, we would be surprised. Because they would have stuff we didn't realize they had. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. No, I could believe be, that. It would be different. There's probably stuff they had that nobody knows about, because... People don't know all of history yet. It's mm. still being discovered. Alright, so... Mount not available. Where is... It says I'm right on top of it, but I'm not finding it. I guess we'll just keep climbing upward? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Why do I feel like something's waiting for me at the end of this? Wait, what? What are you doing, Phoenix? What... What do you think's waiting for you at the end of this? What are you talking about, Phoenix? Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, yes. This guy again. Phoenix had discovered the ultimate abomination Typhon could unleash on the Golden Isle. Goddess. Uh, I don't I, think I can beat that thing. Wait, but I thought we already fought this guy. Uh, we fought a dream version of him in Hades. Uh, or not Hades, uh, Ares Domain. Yeah, we can't fight him. Our weapons are way too weak. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm gonna try, but I don't- I don't think I can. He's already killed us once. And so, um, you do get one ability from Aphrodite to restore your life completely, but you only get one. Um, then you have to rely on potions and stuff like that. Oh, wow. I mean, it's- 
If we ever have to fight this monster, though, at least we know where it is now. It's at the very top of Ares' fortress. Like, you really have to climb to get to him, though. Wait, are you saying you don't think we can do it today? No. Look at how much damage we're barely doing to him. Oh, that's why he said, I think something's waiting at the top. It was like a warning to people, like, yeah, there's don't, something up here. Don't fight this guy this early in the game. Ow, you're gonna need a lot of stuff. He has six arms and two- he has eight limbs. He's a spider. Oh my gosh, we're dead. We died. Yep, let's not do that again. That's like real-life Spider-Man. Whoops. Creepier. Okay, yeah, we that can't fight fun. him. Yeah, um, that's a special mythic boss. Uh, apparently, there's lots of um, Greek mythology based monsters in this that the player can fight, um, but I was reading from the Ubisoft thing. It's important to make sure that you have stronger weapons, um, attack potions, and um, more powerful abilities to use. Uh, there are things like the Hydra, the Chimera. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to go there, Phoenix. Let's let's. Uh, I These don't. These buildings are so huge and beautiful. Fit for a God of War, apparently. Mm, I wish I had a castle like this. Mm, it's too big. I mean, this one is kind of warlike, but it's still pretty cool. It's not too big for me. I would have a different thing for every room. Okay, so you actually... I would have an ice cream. There room. we go. Um, guys, right in front of the war horses, or just behind it, is this hole that wants us to go inside. So this is where we need to go next. You wouldn't want to live in a huge castle like that, Luke. It's too big. I like it. Cutscene. Hello? There's a thief! Hey! Stop! Thief! Hey! That guy's taking essences and stuff. Gotcha. Get him, Phoenix. Hey, <gasps> bro. I surrendered. Wait, what? It's you. you. No way. I saw you. You were stone. <gasps> it's his brother. But he was turned to stone. Awkward hug is awkward. Aw. You're alive. Oh, uh, did I hurt you? Ha. Ah, of course not. I refuse to be taken down so easily, especially by you. Okay. What happened? Well, the crew was turned to stone. I smoked something with the Oracle, but that's the closest I got. <laughs> Though he's actually not an Oracle. What are you doing here? Did he say anything about me? No, only how dire the situation is. And from the sounds of the prophecy, only the true hero will be victorious. So? You mean... I'm here to save us all. Must be why I escaped turning to stone. I don't know. The prophecy said the true hero was flawed. I've never seen you make one mistake. Come on. It said eldest of Thetis. Mom's oldest. That's me. And a wise child convinced. That's you, oh wise one. So I have to convince you that I'm the hero. Get it? Except I'm not a child. Of course not. No prophecy is 100% accurate. Probably. But you don't have the Winged Herald's aid. Sure I do. Got these bad boys of a griffin. Hyde is alive. He snagged the limited edition pair. Can't Hermes keep his shoes on? Oh, did you think the prophecy was about you? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Poor Phoenix. Then there's no need to worry. Mm. You don't want to take on that huge red monster thing anyway. Typhon! It's crazy. Do you know there are actual gods here? Yeah, I do. Actually doing one a favor. I'm looking for a tracking kit to tail a thief who stole a vial from Ares. What's it look like? Let's see. Oh my god. He's the thief. So you are the thief. You never know what you're gonna need on an island like this. Figured I was being resourceful. That's Ares's essence, all right. Take it. Listen, you don't have to shoulder the burden anymore. Leave the rest up to me. I know you're not much of a fighter, Shield Bearer. 
I was training in secret. I never got to show you. The gods have me to thank. I'm recovering all their essences to take on Typhon. I believe you. Okay, you go on finding those essences. In fact, I'll need something from you when the gods are back to their old selves. Then you can meet me on the huge snowy mountain and help me take on Typhon. Oh, okay. Sounds good. That's the spirit. Two swords are better than one. Well, maybe a sword and a half. Hey now. Whoa, that guy's being super mean. My, my. It's a family reunion. Serving up essence of Ares. But did someone bring pie? It's Typhon. Don't mind me. I'll just cut myself a slice. I don't see any pie. I see a boss. No pie. I don't even see pie. Why do you bring a pie? No, oh, I want pie. I'll take I them know. Down. No, you get out of here. Do they deliver I'll pie? Stay and fight. What? But go. I can handle this. Come on. Let me take this one. Why don't you fight together? Okay. Oh, I know, right? <sighs> All right. The Dragon Ball thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, your brother wanted you to take on him? Uh, yeah, but he's got friends. That's okay, we've got that new ability. If your brother was really a hero, why wouldn't he take on this thing himself? I don't know. But, uh, you can see how well Ares' wrath works really good. I don't like Phoenix's brother. He, he seems really mean. Yeah, well... He reminds me of mean... Like, he's not very nice to his little brother. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. See that stagger? That's why you want the axe. Axe. People ask me all the time, what do you think of the axe in this game? It's used to stagger the enemy. He low-key dissed us, like, Oh, low-key dissed us. I see what you did yeah, there. Yeah, did. All right, um, I just now activated my um, potion. So if you guys are wondering how I'm whittling him down so quickly, uh, we are using an attack bonus potion to buff us. I don't know how well we would beat this guy without that ability, so... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Typhon's voice sounds really good in Greek. <laughs> it reminds me of Tim Curry a little bit, though. Yeah, it does. No, not again! Seriously, dude? So... The attack potion lasts for about mm, 35 seconds, I believe. Oh my gosh, was Tim Curry in Monk? Mm. Did he play Dale the Whale? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to see who it was. He was the devil and I am legend. So, wow. yeah, I could see him playing. He probably would have played Typhon if uh, he likes playing monsters. If he hadn't had that stroke. Oh. I know. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Ah, he got one of our life bars. Alright. Now we just have to wait for the potion to activate. Go time. Let's see if we can do this in another 30 seconds. There we go. Nice little stagger there. Whoops, I missed. Sorry, my bad. Boom! Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be quiet, Come Typhon. On, Phoenix! Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, okay, whatever. Bye bye Oh, I missed! That was Almost. gonna be... Oh. This is a problem. Oh I waited too long. Oof! Oh, we... We almost had it. Yeah, I know. I, I showboated a little bit too much. I was dancing in the end zone, so to speak. That's gonna cost me. I mean, we still have magic power left over. Like, we're not completely out of our, you know, uh, potion, but it, you can see it's running down. So we have probably about another 10 seconds or so. And that Minotaur is getting really annoying real fast. Oh, bye. Well, the spike thing uh, is really cool. Yeah, it's a great ability, isn't it? Yeah, it looks really awesome, too. 
I like how the spike, uh, the, the spear ends are blue, so they shine. There we go. Looks really awesome. Done. Oh! Ghost Lieutenant of Tartaros. Defeated. defeated. Yep. Watch out. Oh my god! Oh! You saved me! I had to see what happened to my fortress. And just like I suspected, it's teeming with goons. Probably ruined the carpet. I don't see a carpet. Did you get the tracking kit? Didn't need it. I ran into the thief. And get this! It was my brother! He wasn't cursed! Ah, so that's the sketchy mortal you were talking to. He wants you two to fight Typhon alone. Does he have a death wish? If you knew his track record, he can do anything. Hmm. Well, you did something I thought was impossible. Oh? I was standing there feeling hopeless, knowing the odds were against you, waiting for you to fail. And I looked at my statue, and I thought of what you said. I thought Phoenix doesn't know he'll succeed, and yet he keeps going. That's bravery. And just like that, I would snap my fingers if I didn't have feathers. I was tired of being such a cuckoo bird. You have no idea the wreckage these hands once dealt. The shivering flesh they have caressed. I have an idea. They don't do damage anymore. They don't do anything. And I just can't live with that. So, cluck it. I'm done being a chicken. Yes! There's that fighting spirit! You'll be happy I got this back. Yeah, Ares! Never give up! Back Never off. surrender! I can feel its power peck! I mean, beckoning me! Beckoning me. The gift of my blessing in return. You deserve it, warrior. Neat! Oh my gosh! Ares Fury. Thanks, Ares. Now I'm getting out of here. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. It will be safe to make my transformation there. From hand to hunk. From feathers to ferocity. From beak to badass. Hm. From eggs to epic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> from... Yeah. Don't want to turn Aphrodite into a vegetarian. I'll see you there. Oh, that's right. He's As the Ares triumphantly of Aphrodite. returned to the Hall of the Gods, Phoenix couldn't help oh. but reflect on what the god of war had taught him. That there are a lot of bad chicken jokes. That true courage isn't the absence of despair, but a triumph over it. Oh. Ares may not make the right choices at first, but he always fights for the right side in the end. That's actually nice, Zeus. All right, so we got some That was nice chest. of him to say about his son. Mm -hmm. Zeus is learning to be a better dad. Yep. There we go. So there were some treasure chests hidden uh, in Ares' throne room. This is his throne room. Oh, cool. Yep. That's a big throne. Okay, I hear a monster. That's probably that uh, guy on top of the roof. So eventually we'll track down and fight that uh, enemy, guys. But, mm, ooh, we have some okay. new wings, too. Wings of Monstros. Nice. All right, now let's uh, return Ares' essence to him in the Hall of the Gods. Oh, it actually Ares and Aphrodite were just together, but they didn't get married. Oh, Aphrodite was actually married to Hephaestus, the god of fire and metalworking. Ah, but then like there's like I think I remember there was like there was like this time when Ares came back from battle and he had like blood all over him, and she was like, oh, let me help you like. Cleaning. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Feeling a bit know. woozy and spaced out. Maybe you shouldn't have eaten that discolored pomegranate whoa. you found. I hate to break it to you, but you're dead. This is the underworld. What? This room, forever. Just kidding. Ha! The fates intervened, and you were sent to my secret hideaway. But there should be something in there you'll find useful. <laughs> Enjoy. Wait, we got teleported to a, a secret place of. Hermes? I think so. Interesting. What is that? New gear? 
But oh. yeah, I believe Aries and Aphrodite fell in love, but I don't know if they ever got married. Ah, okay. So how do we leave? Just interact with those weird fairies? Okay, there we go. Okay, that was weird. That's never happened. Because I clicked on Hall of the Gods and it brought me somewhere else. the time I attacked a particularly vicious worm. Oh, the suspense. Really? Okay. <laughs> the worm tried oh to my fight back. It started inching up my ankle. <laughs> I thought it was intent on strangling me. <laughs> a pecking battle ensued. Oh. And did you slay the soft little worm? My foul little foul. Slay? Well, no. But I scratched it so ferociously, I nearly broke skin. <laughs> A victory for the ages. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ares, that's so funny. You made it. Not in one piece. I've got bald spots from the feathers I stress shed. Aww. Is it because Aphrodite is here? Shut it, no. How do I look? For a chicken, about average. But you'll look better in a few. Now's as good a time as any. Look, it's hard for me to say thanks. But you put up with a lot of clucking around. It was worth every... Good. Now get me out of this clucking chicken suit. Alright, here we go. Let's see what Ares looks like. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna miss him as a chicken. Yeah. He was adorable as a chicken. Goodbye, chicken Aries. Now his two personality will come back. I will need a mighty ally. Yep. Probably won't be as nice. I call forth your raging spirit, Ares, god of war. Fight with me. His picture became color. Yep. Wow, he has scars all over him. Well, that makes sense. He's a god of war. <laughs> now we're talking! <laughs> Take me to the battleground! Toss me a weapon! I need something to hit! Yes, sir. We'll be getting to that soon. It's all rushing back to me now. Figure out what you're going to say to win over Aphrodite. I forgot how ripped this body was. I'll let my packs do the talking for me. I'm glad you're feeling <laughs> yourself. <laughs> okay. All thanks to you, Phoenix. But we're not done yet. When you come back, I have tasks for you. His eyes are Time cool. Time to get this place back in shape. Tasks for me, huh? All right. I didn't. I thought he would sound more like young sounding, but he sounds cool. Nope. Alright, so anyway guys and gals, that is going to do it for our episode of Immortals Phoenix Rising today. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah! We brought back Ares, the God of War, and uh, looks like we have some new stuff too, so... Awesome! Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I just wanted to see something real quick. Uh... Oh, cosmetic changes! Okay! Nice! That looks spooky! And do we have any other helmets? Uh, yeah, we got a few. So this can be found like all over the place. And uh, we have a new armor set too. Oh, that looks nice with that. Mm. Notice how the feet change too. Oh, wow. You actually don't have to find... Oh, you don't have to match it. It's just yeah. your whole outfit. That's really nice because yeah, it, it matches. All right. There's Aries and Aphrodite. Yep. So thanks so much, people. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit that bell to be notified. And uh, we'll see you with more Immortals next time. Till then, Yay. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.